Hi, Alison. Hi there, Charlie. I want to share a new game with you about multiples and about uh, divisibility. Okay. So to start with, I need you to write all the digits from naught to nine. And okay. while you do that, I'll explain to you the rules of the game. So we're going to take it in turns to choose one of the numbers. I'm going to make some spaces here. So after the first number gets chosen, the others get added to the right. I don't know how many we're going to need. And so the number's going to get larger and larger. When we've got two digits, the number must be a multiple of two. When we've got three digits, the number's got to be a multiple of three, and so on. So when we've got six digits, the number's got to be a multiple of six. Okay, so if we had a one as the first digit and then a four as the second digit, it would make 14, and that would be allowed because 14 is a multiple of two and the number has two digits. Is that right? That's right. Okay, so uh, who's going to go first then? Well, you're new to the game, so why did you start? Okay, um, let me see then. I'm going to go straight down the middle and pick number five for the first digit then. Okay, so I can choose any even number because 50 something, which uh, will be even if, um, if the number of the units column is an even number. I'm going to choose the eight. So I've got 50. Eight. Okay, so I now need to make a number that's going to be 580 something, but it's a three digit number, so it'll need to be a multiple of three. So five plus eight is. I think if I choose a two, then 582, five plus eight plus two gives me 15, which is in the three times table. And I know that if the digit sum is a multiple of three, then that means the number is a multiple of three. So I think 582 is a multiple of three. Okay. So I'm going to choose the fourth digit. So the whole number, 5,820 something, is going to be a multiple of four. I think I can choose either zero or four. Both would work but I think I'm better off choosing the zero. So 5,820. I think I might be stuck now because I need to make a five digit number. So 58,200 and something. And this would have to end in either a zero or a five to be a multiple of five. And We've already used the five and we've used the zero. So I think I'm stuck. Does that mean I've lost? I'm afraid it does. But we can play again if you like. Yeah, okay. Shall I write out the numbers from naught to nine again then? Okay. I'll write our spaces for us so that it's all ready. I hope that's not too close. Okay, so uh, I went first last time. Um, do you want to go first this time then? See if that's what made you uh, win? Okay. Um, we didn't use the seven last. I, I, I could choose any number to start with because all of them are multiples of one. So I'll go for the seven. Okay, so I need to choose something even now. I'm going to choose the eight. So 78 is an even number. Okay. Seven and eight are up to 15. Your digits are up to 15. I need the three digits to add up to a multiple of three if my number's going to be a multiple of three. So I'm going to choose a three next. 783 is a multiple of three. The digits okay. are up to 18. So I need to make a multiple of four now. So 7,830 something. Again, I think I've got a couple of choices here, uh, but I know that 32 is a multiple of four, so 7,832 must also be a multiple of four. So I can put the two just there. Okay, so last time we played the game, 
we got stuck after four digits. This time, we're going to be able to use at least five digits because I can now put either a zero or a five here to make a multiple of five because both are still available. Um, but perhaps I, we should stop here and let everyone who's watching have a think about, am I better off putting a zero? Am I better off putting a five? Does it make any difference? Does it, can I stop you um, putting a, a, um, a digit that gives you a multiple of six late in your, neck, in your next go? Okay, so I think there's a, a couple of other challenges that I'd like to, to set. So first of all, what should Charlie's next move be? But then we've played this as a competitive game between two people. You could have played it in a sort of more collaborative way. So instead of trying to beat the other person, we could have been working together to try to make the longest chain possible. So could we have got a six digit number or a seven digit number or an eight digit number where all the way along the line it had this property so that the number at each stage was divisible by the number of digits that it had. And perhaps it's even possible to get all 10 of those digits in a line like this. And if you wanted to go further, well, there are only 10 digits there, but you could go a little bit further if you allowed yourself to repeat a digit. So that's some questions that you might like to go away and think about.